Does anybody know why it makes sense? Like, Okay. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick house tour. House. Oh, oh, he's aggressive right now. I don't know. I need daily reminders, okay? With anxiety, sometimes you need to see this and you're finding the face all the time. Beautiful. <laughs> because I've seen it everywhere that it's like, don't be surprised if you growing as a person or whatever makes you lose friends or connections or whatever. And I'm like, that's literally a way of life, first off. And second off, why come at it from that perspective? Like, I don't understand how that's beneficial to you or to any of the connections that you've lost. Maybe the people that you're outgrowing still need to be in that time of their life like who cares connections are lost it happens it's a way of life and I don't understand how coming at it from the perspective of I'm bettering myself and poo poo on you for still being in that part of your life even matters like it literally does not matter at all it, that is awesome that you're past it and you're excited that you're on a different page chapter in your book and it's so confusing to me that literally so many people are coming at it from that angle like just come at it from I am so proud of myself, I'm bettering myself. Why shit on the people that you're losing? Why shit on them? It, it, how does that even make sense? Like, and I, I'm trying to rack my brain how it would make sense to even come at it from that point of being, like point of view. And I guess like resharing it or retweeting it like could show other people that if that's happening, it's completely fine. Does anybody know why it makes sense? Like, why would why would sharing that you're losing them matter? Like, what what positive comes out of that? Literally not. You suck! You tried so hard to Why are you doing it that way? So you can get all a quick house tour you've already seen like the actual structure of the place and all of the furniture is just moved over here I just arranged rearranged a few things and I want to show you how it looks in this space so it's nothing crazy nothing new yet but I want to show you so this is the living room you guys already saw this wall 
Um, these were in cubbies beforehand and now I hung them up like scattered, which I freaking am obsessed with. And then all of the other knickknacks like Yoda and Baby Groot and stuff is on here. I did not clean and I do not care. Well, no, I did clean, but I didn't clean that and I do not care. <laughs> um, cat tree still over there. That's where our Christmas tree is going to go. So I don't know where the cat tree is going to go then, but we'll figure it out when we get to it. <laughs> then this is our couch. All of this stuff is the same. And then we decided to hang up the three big pictures over here. It just looks better and I don't know, more neat. And then this area, um, we tore up all of the carpets. It was a freaking pain in the butt. Um, my thought process is white on the backboards and then like a stain or something on there. I haven't decided. But again, that's just something I can do later and I'm not that worried about it. And that little thing was in our living room before. And then this is the mirror that Matt and I build, mainly Matt. It's still, we still have to caulk it and stuff in the corners, but it doesn't look bad right now. And then we painted the banisters and all of the walls white. I'm trying to remember what the last thing you saw was. And then all of these cabinets are now this beautiful blue. Oh. <laughs> so the cabinets are now a beautiful blue. Here's over here. Um, there's all of our recycling that needs to be torn down, but all of these were painted and look amazing now compared to what they were. Dining room table still the same. Our bar cart and Earl is over there. These are almost pretty much dead flowers from Alan John's wedding. I do want to paint that door eventually white too because it's open literally all the time. Matt actually picked out the color of the cabinets and they're freaking beautiful. So I'm so excited about it. And then this is our half bath. We also painted in here, just all white everywhere. We redid the floors as well. These are what the floors look like now. They look amazing. They're so pretty. Basement's still the basement. You guys pretty much saw what the basement looks like when we were showing you how to, we built the mirror. So I'm not gonna show you. It's literally just a basement. So until Matt like does his man cave things, he's gonna do to it. I'm not even gonna show you guys. Now let's go upstairs, the beautiful stairs. Oh, this is the guardian of the stairs. Yeah, this is his favorite spot in the whole entire house. Oh, oh, he's aggressive right now. Guardian of the stairs, guardian of the stairs. So the floors are down up here too. Yay. Um, this room, we still have not done a lot with. This is gonna be the guest room. We didn't paint in here either, but that's okay. Carpets are still new. That's it, there's really nothing new in here. The cutest boy in the world. And then all of the hallways were painted before we moved in. Freaking amazing. This is our bathroom. I painted all of the walls in here too, white. Piece of a turned down. And then here's my little area. Okay, and then here is our bedroom now. It's so nice. It's so different compared to what it was before. So this is a different angle of it. It looks so pretty in here. I'm literally so excited about it. So yeah, all of the same old stuff, the nice hands, everything, all that's brought over, but it looks really good in this space. So it doesn't feel crammed in here and that's what I was worried about. So I'm very happy it fits. And then over here is the last bedroom. This one I kind of like turned into like my glam area. I get ready here every morning. We didn't paint in here either, uh, but this is the old dresser. That's the old mirror. The old mirror we're gonna put up here eventually. Haven't gotten to it yet. And then this is the mirror I broke. Look at it though, like I, it's leaned up against there. So at least like I don't, I can see my whole body in it, you know? Usually that's an issue, but since it's leaned and it makes me look taller even, look at those legs. Um, and then this is what I ended up doing with it, which if you follow me on Instagram, you should. Soulfloof promo. Uh, I showed you this already done already, but I just put some Loctite on the end of it so that if Carl or Lily like rub up against it, they won't get hurt. It actually worked out like so much better than I thought it would. So if you ever break a mirror, just go grab this at Home Depot. It's literally like $3 and it just sealed it right up on the ends. And I'm amazed by my thoughts. Like I'm amazed that I thought of this, okay? I'm awesome. And then I ended up putting affirmations on here 
instead of like broken and beautiful or whatever I was saying before, um, I ended up doing this, which I'm actually pretty excited about because I don't know, I need daily reminders, okay? With anxiety, sometimes you need to see this in front of your face all the time. Oh, what a handsome guy. <laughs> this is our light in here. <laughs> Pretty good, man. That's good. But if you would aim in the art field, that'd be nice. You're glared right now. You got any eyes on the place. Beautiful. When are you going to take it? It's vlogging. <laughs> What are you talking about? So cheers. Everybody cheers. Cheers. No. Nope. No, thank you. Cheers, no. Blaine. No, Blaine's getting involved. He has no choice. Get in here right now. He got his pretzels. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> that works. <laughs> Gonna 